Hi, this is Preeta. Welcome to Dakshin Curry. We use a lot of dried ingredients in our gravies and we call it vatal. Today I will be using one such berry. Yeah, I will be using turkey berry which is also called as sundakai and I will be making a gravy with it. So to know how to make sundakai vatal kornbe, you need to stay tuned. Let's check out how to make this recipe. So the first step is going to be to have a look at the ingredients. I am using sundakai here. Yeah, this is also called as turkey berry. And if you are fond of Thai cuisine, you must have noticed that they use this as Thai aubergine or Thai brinjal. But they use the fresh version. Now this is soaked in buttermilk and then dried under the sun. And then you can store this for a really long time if you have packaged it well. And we use this in our recipes, in, in, in a lot of less recipes and today I am going to be showing you how to make a gravy out of it. So I will be using around 1.5 teaspoons of this. Apart from that I have a gooseberry size tamarind which I have soaked in 1 cup water. I will be using around 2.5 tablespoons of vatakorn powder, a pinch of heen, a few sprigs of curry leaves which are just shredded, teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, salt to taste, a pinch of turmeric, a little bit of jaggery just to tone down the tamarind flavor and I will be using oil, around 2-3 to three tablespoons of oil and obviously we will be using little bit of water to cook the gravy. So let's start, we have a pan here and the first step would be to cook the sundakai. I will be putting this on saute mode and I will add oil, I will add oil just as is enough to cook the sundakai not using a lot of oil now, I'll add the rest of the oil later. Now what people do is uh, at home when we make it, we add all the ingredients together and make it. But what I like to do is, I like some of the sundakais to be nice and crisp. So I like to add it towards the end. What I'll be doing is, I'll be using it in two batches, you will see what I mean. So now that the oil is getting hot, just add around about a teaspoon or so, teaspoon and a half. These are nice and bitter but uh, trust me they go really well when you are going to have it with rice. That's the accompaniment and uh, now we will just cook this. Now the idea is to brown it or char it in a way. Now when this starts to cook you will have this smoky aroma. And you will see that these are all starting to brown. Now you have to cook this till it kind of chars, you know, like how I've shown the recipe for more molagai, just like that. Now, if you don't want to use this, there are other vatals. Now, like because it is dried under the sun, it is called vatal. This is one form of vatal. The other form of vatal is another berry which is called as manatakalikai. I'll use that in a recipe sometime soon. I'll show you a recipe. So what you can also do is you can combine it but that's a different flavor, this is a little different flavor. As you can see this is starting to darken, allow it to darken a little bit more because what happens is otherwise just the outside would be you know nice and crunchy and inside it's going to be you know kind of mushy and you don't want that, you want it to be nice and crisp right till inside. This stage, we will remove this. What I am going to do is, I am going to keep some of it in this. Now, the oil is really hot, so I can add the mustard seeds. I will add the curry leaves. Nice mix. I am going to add a dash of hing. Now you can obviously use hing water. I am just using hing here, powder. Now I will add the tamarind water. Now remember that this is going to be a nice thick gravy. Unlike sambars in which the thickening agent is also in the form of a paste, also in the form of dal. There is no dal in this. The Dal content in this recipe is going to come from the vatakorn powder that contains tur dal. To know how to make vatakorn powder, all you need to do is 
make a search for it on dakshin curry you will find the recipe now that's going to give thickening so ensure that you don't add too much of water but having said that this also needs little bit of water what i'm going to do is I'm going to add half a cup and i'll add little bit of haldi give this a mix now some people what they do is they roast the spice and then add the tamarind but i don't feel the necessity to do that what i'll be doing is i'll be adding the powder later on now if you want you can add the powder at this stage but what i'm going to do is i'm going to allow the aroma of this you know to the raw aroma of it to just kind of wear off and just when that happens i'll be adding the powder so let's just allow this to come to a boil as you can see this has been bubbling away it's kind of reduced a little the aroma of tamarind is still there the raw aroma now i'll be adding the vatakorn powder be adding around 2 and a half tablespoons now i'll also add salt to taste give this a mix and obviously we'll be adding little more water Just mix this well now because there is dal in this powder what's going to happen is it's going to thicken well Just mix this nicely ensure there are no lumps Just add little bit of water now at times what happens is you know by chance you've added little more of water or the the tanginess is a little high and you want to tone it down what you can do is you can make a slurry using rice flour and a little bit of water and use it to thicken this right towards the end you know just add probably a teaspoon or so as required of rice flour mix it with a little bit of water or with the gravy itself what i do is i combine it with the gravy not with water again because that will be like adding more liquid and now the minute you add the powder you will get this really amazing aroma Now I have used it in powder form. If you are making the vatakorn powder fresh, what you can also do is grind it into a paste. Some people like to add garlic in the recipe. Some people like to add madras onions also in the recipe. So if you want, you know, in the paste you can add a little bit of garlic also and kind of crush it and then add it. As you can see, this is bubbling. So you need to keep checking for the texture because see the aroma also has to go. The texture also has to be maintained. Now what we will do is. we'll mix this and now we'll just allow this to simmer now if you have a look all the masala has kind of come on to the top it's kind of simmering bubbling away actually now at this stage what i'll do is just give it a mix so you can see it's nice and thick now i'll be adding little bit of jaggery or vellum as we call it now this is a nice tangy gravy so even after adding the jaggery you need to have a nice balance of the tamarind and the jaggery so not too much of it just crush it a little and give it a mix now this is again going to thicken so like i told you always check for consistency and then add as required because i really want to avoid uh, rice flour in this recipe now what we need to do is again just allow this to bubble for a few minutes and then we'll transfer this on to a serving bowl so let's pour it on to a bowl now so as you can see our gravy is ready our vattal konb is ready but yeah we did not use all the vattal don't worry what i'll be doing is a little bit of tweak to the recipe i have some sesame oil here just very little I thought it will be nice to present this, you know, with some tadka. Usually we don't do that, but just a little bit of change. So I'll be adding mustard seeds again. Now, like I told you, tadka. I am using the fenugreek seeds. Now I could have used it earlier also. Now this is already there in the vatal corn powder also. So there's a good flavor of methi seeds in that, and there'll be add-on flavor now because of this tadka.
Now, what you can also do is if you want to add garlic, uh, probably you could add garlic at this stage also. You know, a little bit of nice sauteed garlic right on top. That will also do really well. Nice flavor. So, okay, our mustard is starting to crackle. Add a little bit of fenugreek, and I'll add this already fried sundakai. Just give it a quick mix. We don't want our fenugreek seeds to burn, so because the pan is nice and hot, I'm going to just switch off the flame, and I'll pour this on to our already ready batal kornbe. It'll be nice, you know. A little bit of uh, berries will be nice and crisp, and some of them will be nice and mushy because they're already cooked in the gravy. That's it. All you need is a plate, some steamed rice, dollop of ghee, and the vatal corn. As you can see, our sundakai vatal corn is ready. You know what I'm missing right now? A little bit of kira masala, a little bit of steamed rice, and ghee. So you know what? I guess I'll go back to my kitchen and make some of that also to make my meal. And what are you going to do? You are going to make this recipe. I'm waiting for your comments. And yeah, you have to subscribe to India Food Network. Need I say that? So until next time, merry cooking. Ciao.